Okay, so our M46 is our high mid box. To extend it, we're gonna add the M28, which is the downfill box, or what they call the Omni. So it's a little more versatile. It does many places it can go in the PA. It can do many different roles. But today it's gonna be a downfill for us. So uh, this box can bend to 10 degrees. This bends to 15. So it lets us get a little more J in the bottom of the array. So let's come around the back. You can see the hardware on the M46 is a little bit different than the hardware on the M28. They couldn't get all of this crazy fun stuff inside of this much space, so they came up with a different rigging piece here. It's fine, I, we'll explain it later. So, on the back here, I just wanted to point out the difference. The M46 has a little bit different hardware. We talked about how we set the angles here on that uh, with our piston, um, which I can demonstrate now as I set the G here. So that lets it compress when it compresses up, and if that were a bottom box, I can't lift a bottom box by myself. It lets me do that if I set it to like, say, B. You can see it doesn't go very far, All right? Kind of obvious, but that's what it does. And it makes it really simple to be able to, to pick your angles as you're going. So this piece is called the BT bumper, the bottom bumper. It's added to the bottom of it. It will join the two pieces together to give us our pick point to do the compression. It also is the place where we can connect our Omni module, the M28 to it. When we get it landed, you'll see that we'll take this piece here and we'll swing it up into place to connect to the bumper above it. And other than that, the, the red lock system works the same. We could demonstrate this pretty well now. If you watch this pin here. Okay, and what I'm doing to do that is this.